spend a couple minutes talking about carbon. Carbon is the basic ingredient of life on Earth. Animals consume carbon-based fuel and they release some of that excess carbon by breathing in oxygen and breathing it out as carbon dioxide. Plants do just the opposite. They absorb CO2 and release oxygen. This process is known as the carbon cycle and it's one of the key balancing acts of life on Earth. Years ago we started to build machines that also consume carbon-based fuel, like coal and oil, and they too release that excess carbon into the atmosphere. The difference is that the fuel they consume comes from deep in the ground, where that carbon was essentially retired from the carbon cycle, until we found a way to extract it. The resulting increase in carbon in our atmosphere is measurable, and it's creating changes in our climate and oceans. With all this carbon coming out of retirement, the role that nature plays absorbing it has become critically important. When we learned about the carbon cycle in school, we were left with the image that forests and grasslands did all the work, when in fact a lot of carbon is absorbed by life in the ocean. We call this carbon absorbed by the ocean blue carbon. Saltwater plants like these mangroves do just that. But when these carbon-rich habitats are destroyed, a lot of that retired carbon gets released back into the atmosphere. In other words, when we destroy a mangrove, we create a new carbon source. The most worrying part is that we're losing these saltwater ecosystems faster than we're losing any other ecosystem on the planet, at a rate of 2 to 7 percent annually. We're literally loving our oceans and coasts to death. Coastal development is increasing rapidly, with 44 percent of the people on the planet living within 150 kilometers of the ocean. And for every mangrove or marsh we destroy, we not only destroy an important mechanism for absorbing carbon, we're also losing breeding habitat for marine life, natural protection from storms, and buffers for water filtration. So it's important that we find ways to enjoy the coast while also allowing these habitats to do their job, absorbing blue carbon. You can play a role in protecting our oceans and coasts. Spread the word. Tell your friends. Tell your family. Let people with decision-making authority know that you care about your coasts.